Hey there, viewers! Have you been tracking your food intake lately? Is it because your gastrointestinal tract acts up every now and then? Perhaps a bad case of indigestion? If you've been asking these questions lately, you'll want to consider the possibility of a gluten intolerance. What are the first signs of it? Is it heavy bloating or diarrhea? Are those constant abdominal pains and headaches trying to tell you something? I am always feeling tired. Could that be a sign as well? We'll talk about all this and more. What is a gluten intolerance? Also known as non-celiac gluten sensitivity, gluten intolerance can be a silent killer. Sometimes the patient isn't even aware they have it, which can go on causing chronic damage to their body. Gluten is a specific type of protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. People with gluten sensitivity experience adverse reactions when they consume food containing it. Gluten intolerance and celiac disease. People often confuse the two, but in their defense, they do share similar symptoms. Celiac disease is a severe form of gluten intolerance. It can damage a person's digestive system. While gluten intolerance does cause significant discomfort, lifestyle changes can help you manage its symptoms. Another confusion about gluten intolerance stems from the misconception that gluten sensitivity and wheat allergy are one in the same. Wheat allergy can be very dangerous, as its symptoms include loss of consciousness and impaired breathing. It is estimated around 1% of the world population suffers from celiac disease, while 0.5 to 13% may have a gluten intolerance. Now that you know what gluten sensitivity is and how it differs from celiac disease, it's time we discuss the symptoms. Number 1. Depression Studies have established a direct connection between digestive issues and mental health. For example, it's a well-known fact that irritable bowel syndrome and anxiety can trigger each other. Experts have put forth a few theories on why gluten intolerance can cause depression. In people with gluten sensitivity, peptides, called gluten exorphins, get formed during digestion. There are high chances these peptides interfere with the central nervous system, increasing the risk of depression. Another probable theory suggests that gluten sensitivity decreases our level of serotonin, commonly known as the happiness hormone. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that facilitates communication between cells. The third and final theory links gut flora with depression. Gluten intolerance can increase the growth of harmful gut bacteria and decrease the population of gut-friendly bacteria in our intestine. This may affect the central nervous system, leading to a risk of developing depression. Remember all those times your mom told you to eat right? She was correct. Our digestive system has a lot to do with our mood and mental health. Number 2. Skin Issues you thought gluten intolerance would just affect your mood and digestive system? Think again! Celiac disease can manifest as a skin problem like dermatitis herpetiformis, a skin condition that leads to the formation of blisters on the skin. It has been found that everyone who has the disease is gluten sensitive, but only 10% experience actual symptoms of celiac disease. There have been studies showing several skin diseases improved when the patient switched to a gluten-free diet. These include psoriasis, chronic urticaria, and alopecia areata. All in all, going gluten-free might actually lead to an improvement in several skin problems. Number 3. Bowel Troubles Occasional bowel troubles like diarrhea and constipation are normal. It could be the stomach flu you caught while eating at the local restaurant or that scorching hot pepper you were warned not to try. But if you find yourself struggling to maintain a normal bowel routine, chances are you could be gluten intolerant. People with gluten sensitivity experience inflammation of the small intestine, which may damage the gut lining. Poor nutrient absorption resulting from gut lining damage can cause bowel issues. More than 50% of people with gluten intolerance regularly experience diarrhea, while the number for those experiencing frequent constipation is 25%. If your bathroom routines are changing drastically, consider getting an expert opinion. It could be a gluten sensitivity. Before we move ahead, here's something you may find interesting. Watch this video to learn about 5 foods to avoid if you have anxiety. 
Number 4. Bloating and Abdominal Pain Do you feel puffy after mealtime? Is your belly full of gas after you've eaten? These can be signs of gluten intolerance. While there are a number of causes behind bloating, from that extra helping of broccoli to the chickpea salad, gluten sensitivity could be a major contributor. Experts have said that bloating is a common complaint people have when they're suffering from gluten sensitivity. Further research showed that 87% of people with gluten intolerance experienced bloating. It's a no-brainer that bloating causes abdominal pain. This is why studies show that 83% of people with gluten sensitivity report it as a symptom. Number 5. Anemia Iron deficiency anemia is often the reason why celiac disease and gluten intolerance gets diagnosed. People often ignore other symptoms like bloating and abdominal pain. It is only when they experience symptoms of iron deficiency anemia that they reach out to experts. These include headaches, tiredness, fatigue, reduced blood volume, pale skin, and shortness of breath. Celiac disease and gluten intolerance can reduce nutrient absorption in the intestine, which results in iron deficiency. A recent study pointed out that iron deficiency may be significant in people suffering from celiac disease and gluten sensitivity. Number 6. Unexplained Weight Loss Weight loss seems like a piece of good news, but only when it's done properly. Weight changes without proper reasoning are often indicative of an underlying health issue. Undiagnosed celiac disease and gluten sensitivity can often lead to unexplained weight loss. A study observing two patients with celiac disease and gluten sensitivity pointed out that over two-thirds of patients lost weight six months prior to their diagnosis. There are a number of reasons behind this weight loss. They include poor nutrient absorption, frequent diarrhea, bloating, and abdominal pain. Number 7. Poor Teeth Condition Just like iron deficiency, celiac disease and gluten sensitivity can affect absorption of calcium in the small intestine. Calcium deficiency can lead to problems with teeth and oral cavities. This includes tooth decay, ulcers of the mucous cavity, and hypersensitivity of enamel. If you maintain healthy oral care but are still experiencing issues, gluten sensitivity could be behind it. What to do if you suspect gluten sensitivity? If you suspect you have gluten intolerance, pay attention to your gluten consumption. Try removing gluten from your diet temporarily to see if things improve. The most cost-effective way to do so is to add gluten-free foods into your diet. Sneak more fruits and vegetables into your meals. Dairy products, poultry, meat, fish, seafood, beans, legumes, and nuts are free from gluten. You can also consume gluten-free grains like rice, quinoa, corn, and oats. Do you think you have a gluten sensitivity? Have you experienced any of these symptoms? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.